What is going on guys? Today we are looking at all of the goalkeepers in FIFA 23. So we've gone back to another tier list with them just before we get into team of the season and more than likely the next one would be after. We're going to go straight into it. We've got a lot of goalkeepers to get through as we've got a decent amount that have come through. The problem is now is a lot of the gold goalkeepers are pretty standard to be honest they're very much in the non-category anymore so realistically s tier is my absolute top recommendations there's only a couple in there the as is just as good definitely in the question of a better goalkeeper a is going to be a standard so a goalkeeper that would still be repped in a team right now and b would be more than likely they don't really exist anymore number one at the moment unfortunately is going to be de gea I absolutely love his card. He's a, an absolute gem if you've ever played with him in net. But right now, especially a gold goalkeeper, especially when we talk about some of the goalkeepers later on, there's just no reason to have a De Gea anymore. And to be honest, as much as I rate Allison, he would be in this list. I feel like he's just gripping onto that A. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable, but at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. I personally think there would be no reason to have Allison either. With the amount of goalkeepers that we've got, a lot that you can get for very minimal coins, I personally like to have a special goalkeeper, at least one of the topper ones, just to know that it's not... My fault. <laughs> Sometimes they let things in. I've used a lot of goalkeepers this year. A couple of the lower ones, obviously, we haven't really done a lot of matches with. But I'd say at least 80% of this list we actually have used. If it's for 5 games, 10 games, some of them for hundreds of games. We've used a good amount of goalkeepers. And Allison has always been a solid one. De Gea, by now, normally has some sort of special. But unfortunately, this year, it just is not meant to be. We then have Campos, and a lot of people rave about him. Honestly, I've never seen him be very useful. I've used him in I've used him in drafts. I've used him in rivals. I don't think we managed to go into champs with him. I didn't really want to risk that after the rival battering, but he's just not it for me anyway. And this is all opinion based. This is why I love all the comments. I read through them, especially before doing this tier list, so I know where everybody's coming from. I personally have my opinions, and I like to hear yours because. My reasons could be just from my gameplay. It could be that you're a Division 5 player that obviously they may have a bit more use. It could be you're an elite player. Then obviously you could have a different sort of opinion for them. That is why I like to get the opinions, especially on goalkeepers, as everybody has a totally different opinion. We then have the winter wildcard Milinkovic Savic. Again, I always get him confused with the actual centre mid. I'm pretty sure they are related, but again, I don't know. I've not looked into it. Both Serbian and the goalkeeper... When he came out, was not bad. Nice little extra little bonus for him. And I think he added that different sort of element with having that 99 speed. I've always uh, kind of put speed as a very top contributing factor for a good goalkeeper. And this year, it has definitely blown that out of the water with a lot of different keepers with very different speeds. Obviously, different sets of stats. But the one thing I always come down to is traits is absolutely massive. We then have the team of the tournament, the Moroccan keeper. Again, not a bad keeper, but personally for me, now he's pretty much done. 86 rated. Even if you just took the rated alone, people will have higher rated keepers that they might prefer. But I do think he was very solid when he came out. We had a, a very little kind of branch of goalkeepers we could use. If you go back through the tier list of goalkeepers, you'll see the different levels that we did have at this point. And a big one for me this year has got to be Edison. 91 Edison, which was an SBC, which actually was really cheap, and an objective to get him up. It was absolutely spot on. You got yourself a 90 fodder card as well as this 91 rated card for an extra boost. I think that is absolutely brilliant from EA. Loved the footballer's concept. Felt like it could have been done a little better, but most definitely the extra cards that you got. You got obviously the very uh, cheap SBCs for the players that will just go into an SBC, and then you got the boosted cards. I personally don't see anything wrong with that. Edison, a fantastic keeper this year. Again, kicking wise is unreal, has great reflexes, good traits. In general, Edison has always been a top keeper for me. And to be honest, we will maybe move him, to be fair, in the later stages. But most definitely a top, top keeper that you can get for literally nothing. 
We then unfortunately have the Neuer effect, and honestly, I'm so disappointed he got nothing. This year, he's just not. Allison, Neuer, even Oblak, I can see staring at me. It's such a shame, same with De Gea and Lloris. They just don't have anything this year, and this is why I'm saying goalkeepers are very hard to get big upgrades, and normally they need to get it with that one big upgrade. Because realistically, if they get an inform like we saw with Navas... It's just a plus one. With a lot of these goalkeepers, they maybe get one, two, maybe a third if they are really, really lucky in the entirety of this game. Team of the season obviously helps, but a lot of the top goalkeepers, especially Edison, Allison, Lloris, obviously De Gea, they're all in the top category that they could only get one team of the season, maybe two at the best. And even then, I don't personally think any of them are going to get it. Obviously, we're looking at Ramsdale. We're looking at Pope. There is obviously De Gea and also Edison that is in the running. But I, I personally, I think Ramsdale is an absolute clear winner in terms of actually winning the league. Obviously, it won't happen at the same time as we should be getting team of the season in the next two weeks. And it is, again, a big argument for who. But Allison's not going to get it. Obviously, then, Lloris is not going to get it. It'll be interesting to see if they do get a footies card later on, or is their gold card the best version for them? I do think in terms of these three, though, they are still solid enough that if you are starting the game, they should still give you a good run, but I don't think I could put them any more than that. We then have Minyan, another fantastic keeper that's come through. It's obviously his team of the year honourable and most definitely a big card in a lot of people's teams that I've seen. We've definitely gone through all of what we've played in the past couple of weeks just to make sure that we are picking the right goalkeepers to be at that top level. We've used him a handful of times. I, be I don't know if I did a review on him actually, but I know I've used him. We've managed to pack him four or five times during the honourable kind of mentions because obviously goalkeepers are the semi-easier ones to get and, and definitely did an absolute run. A Serie A team, French team, he's got himself in that position quite nicely. We also then did get two beautiful foot birthday cards in Lafont and Unana. Both, I believe, are 5-5. Five five. I know full well that Unana is. I'm pretty sure Lafont got that same boost, but I could be absolutely wrong. But in terms of goalkeeping ability... He did get the 5-5. Five five. It's an extra little bonus. It's what we saw from Pope. Or was it Butland? We got one last year or the year before that also had a 5-star, five 5-star. Five Again, it's just an added bonus. I'm really not too fussed if he was a 1-star, one 1-star. One I don't tend to pass it back to my goalkeeper to beat anybody, any attackers at all. But most definitely, both of them come in with a different set. For me, if I'm picking between the two, Lafont absolutely brilliant love this card he's got a great height on him at 6-5 obviously the reflexes are really nice the traits rushes out of goal leadership unfortunately doesn't have that comes out for corner or crosses that one for me is a big big one when it comes to the top goalkeepers and normally when you see a cautious for crossing it doesn't necessarily make him totally unusable, but it definitely puts doubt in my mind of obviously where I'm going to be using him we also then have Kobol Again, I've put him in there just to show you some high-rated keepers. He is pretty much just fodder, if anything. Same with a sort of level of trap. I feel like he's kind of now... He's not necessarily B tier. He's definitely in the A. But that is mainly because he's got the four informs. If we were still looking at the 88 or 87, it is definitely getting to fodder. And I think he's just just about holding on to that A slot. He would definitely be fodder if he wasn't upgraded that once more and is having an absolutely blinding performance for FIFA 23. But like I say, managing to get three informs as a goalkeeper is most definitely not a feat that most goalkeepers do. If he does get a fourth, he could be one of the first goalkeepers to ever get four informs in one year. Whether he does is down to the question, but definitely has a shout at a team of the season in terms of a FIFA performance based. Obviously, I don't know in the league, it might just go straight to a buying keeper. But in terms of what we see on just FIFA, he most definitely is one of the most informed keepers we've seen today. We then have Testegen. Honestly, I've not really been that much of a fan this year. I felt like he's just a little bit blocky at times. Um, obviously, as we go through it, we have seen the likes of, of Alison Edison, Neuer R. Black all doing really well. I don't know what it is with him. His rating's 88. He should be a relatively good keeper. And most years, he tends to have something. But this year, I've, I've just not been a fan of him personally. Same with Czech. There is a fair few people that really, really rate this Czech. I just can't get on with him. Personally, the I think it's cautious for, for crosses he's got. 
it ruins the card. Maybe, just maybe, there might be people that definitely can use him. We've got Cautious for crosses. Goalkeeper long throw, always nice. Team player, again, does it add that much value? It is mainly rushes out of goal, saves with feet, and also comes for crossing. That are my favoured traits. It's not, like I said, it's not necessarily needed all the time, but most definitely is some things that I look out for. And I've got my top spot in mind anyway. And check... Two years now. Two years I've used every single version. We've used his base, used his mid, used his World Cup, and used his prime. I can't get on with any of them. And I know in the comments of the previous video, some people absolutely love him and some people hate him. And that's the, the beauty of goalkeepers. There is no absolute definition that everybody has to love this one. The only one that I would say is going to be Armand Courtois has always been one of the best gold goalkeepers you can physically use. This year, most definitely with obviously his team of the year, I rate it. A great card, nice and cheap. Obviously, if people are wondering why he's so cheap, is mainly because he is the most packed team of the year out of the, well, out of the 12, in fact. That is just a natural thing to happen. Goalkeepers, tend to not have a big value and obviously the team of the year tends to be the easiest one to be packed other than the fullbacks depending on who they are they are normally the ones that you pack every single year four years in a row we've got the goalkeeper it then just goes down to do you get the goalkeeper again or do you manage to get one of the special ones in an outfield sort of player and i'd say when we look at the rest of this list we've got obviously some very fodder based one with Di uh, Di diogo costa Again, he's a nice future star, good for the Portuguese league if obviously you're looking for objectives, but most definitely is not going to be in people's lists going forward. We have Meslier from obviously the future stars again. I actually do like this card a little bit in terms of what he can kind of produce. Good saves, great reflexes, obviously the speed... It, it's a factor that I just don't get anymore. I swear last year, the year before, speed had more of an impact from what I saw in terms of what people were using. It was Courtois mainly. It was team of the year. It was really high rated cards with the most speed. Now it's literally, you can just see a whole array of keepers. Not everybody has that exact same keeper. My favorite keeper on this list though has got to be our man, team of the year, Van der Sar. 1.1 mil. I don't know if a goalkeeper's been that expensive for so long. It is crazy. He dropped down to about 500k once the team of the year was out and then has just absolutely soared in price. Personally, for me, he has always been the top dollar. We've got both of these two goalkeepers in the well, in the club currently and Van der Sar definitely pips for that number one spot, in my opinion. Courtois is very close second, but Van der Sar being an icon, getting obviously the free chemistry already has been phenomenal. We then have Armand Casillas, obviously a 93 Trophy Titans now. A beautiful upgrade for the card, lovely dynamic. And again, I've always liked Casillas. I think he's a great keeper. And again, he splits the decision. Some people say that he doesn't make any saves, can't get any use out of him. I thought both, ver well, all three versions have been absolutely phenomenal for me. We actually haven't managed to give this Trophy Titans a go, so I'm going off Obviously, while I know from Casillas, there's very little upgrade from him. If we do check between the two, obviously the Prime and, and the 93, it is predominantly just an inform upgrade, if anything. So there isn't really a big, big difference between the two cards other than the inform. So we've got ones on everything, two on the handling, two on the kicking, and two on the speed. No, I think there is no trait difference between the two as well. We've got comes for crosses, beautiful, team player, goalkeeper, long throw. Exactly the same card, just an inform upgrade. So if I'm taking that into consideration to where I already know where the Prime should be, he's not necessarily in the S tier for me, but most definitely in that AS. There is no question for what I personally know from Casillas. We also then have Donnarumma. Again, another cracking keeper. I feel like he, as a gold card, would always be venturing with Courtois. Would definitely need a little bit of an upgrade now, whether he gets, again, the team of the season for Ligue 1. It's up for the question, but that's personally where you take an AS keeper and make him into the S. 95, 96 Donnarumma is a very top-end keeper. Very tall, very good at saves. I've always found double saves were his absolute speciality when it comes to goalkeeping. And again, we used this card a long time ago. We got the, the, the well, the inform, I think, 
first month, two months, and we managed to get it in red. We used him for a few months and then we moved over. We then have the final few. In terms of what we've got at the bottom, Ramsdale is only there purely for the fact that we wanted to talk about his team of the season if he was to get it. We've done a lot of short, a lot of posts about team of the season as we are practically just eight, eight to nine days away now, I believe, from obviously getting the team of the season voting or it actually out. I believe it was announced that it should be the, 19, uh, the 18th of April that it actually does come out. Whether we see that actually happen, we'll see it in another week. So we should technically have voting today or this week which would be incredible to see so we may already have it because this video is done in advance it will be interesting to see when we do get it and ramsdale for me it's got to be either a one or two spot i think winning potentially winning the league because obviously it's going to come out before the league ends if he does win the league it would be criminal for him to not have a team of the season yet and i do think community judging from how the premier league's going would definitely have a consistent amount of prem players due to the fact there is a lot of Cards that are going to miss out. So it'll be interesting to see how they do that. We then have Chesney Centurions. Big fan of this card. When I think we packed him twice. Once tradable, once untradable. He was eventually SBC fodder purely for the fact we do have Van der Sar. But indefinite for a Serie A keeper, he's up there most definitely with Minyan in terms of Serie A. I personally would actually probably go for Chesney over Manyan to be honest. Again, it's going to be all debating on opinion, but in terms of a save stopper, been absolutely brilliant for this beautiful Centurions. We then have the final few. Schmeichel is one of them, so we'll go to the icon first. He's good, but not crazy. But I do think in terms of icon goalkeepers, it goes Van der Sar, Yashin, Casillas, Schmeichel, and then Czech. Personally, that is the the list I go with. In terms of where I would put Yashin, I know last tier list I put him in the S. And to be honest, we've used him a, a couple of times since then. Mainly in draft because he still, he still has a good cost on him, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he's coming in relatively cheap, which is what you kind of expect for an icon that has been out. Multiple icon packs being out. You would expect him to be at least dropping in price and most definitely his mid and prime have but it, uh, mid and base have but the prime's still coming in at half a mil i personally think that is down to the fact he was especially a top uh rated goalkeeper for a while but i do think he's slightly dropping off i'm absolutely in love with van der Sar, and to be honest using courtois over him i still think he definitely would be in that that top spot but i think at the minute he's dropped out of that s for me i feel like that is now reserved for team of the season keepers and especially being prem straight away it will be interesting to see how they fare up against obviously this list we then have navas again not a bad goalkeeper he's going to just go in the a i feel like you could still get some use out of him we've personally used the psg one a lot more but we did manage to get the nottingham forest one into a team to give him a little test out because why not he's 89 rated He's one of them keepers that I think just gets pushed to the side a little bit. But now he's moved into the Prem. Good links. Obviously, the Nation, unfortunately, doesn't help him out a great deal. But the Prem links will definitely do a lot more for him. And then we have the big debate, a big battle. Butland versus Pope. Love both of these cards. Both of them, again, I think, well, obviously, Pope was a, uh, was a SBC. Butland, I think, you can you go by? Was he an SBC as well? You can go buy him. 44,000 coins for him. And then obviously for Pope, with the added bonus of him getting upgraded, with 28,000 coins in this market. Both of them are incredible. Love absolutely both of them. And they are absolutely going in that AS between the both of them. They have been phenomenal in that. Obviously, where Pope has a ginormous size of six foot six, and Butland is always that nostalgic vibe card. I think if he didn't get the 89, he just wouldn't be talked about because he is a silver prior to this, obviously, standing at six five as well. Great speed increase from him in terms of traits. Unfortunately for Butland, we have none, and I think for Pope, we do have a couple for comes for crushes and crosses and also rushes out of goal. And that's going to be my tier list for today. So let me know down below if you disagree or agree give me your opinions i want to hear them this is personally where we're going for the tier list i like my top two i feel like team of the seasons are the next step for them and that is when you'll see the next goalkeeper tier list is at the end of team of the season so make sure you like and subscribe on this we may do an update on goalkeepers as we go through but let me know your opinions make sure you like and subscribe and catch you all for the next one peace